Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is morning prayer for Sunday, August the 19th, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 118, and Mark chapter 2, verse 5 to 25. And if you'd like to hear your prayer request mentioned in the videos, go to the website brotherbill.net, that's spelled out as one word, and make your prayer request using the form there. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, give thanks to God the Most High who is good, for God's love endures forever. Alleluia. Psalm 118. Give thanks to God the Most High who is good, for God's mercy endures forever. Let the family of Israel say, God's mercy endures forever. Let the family of Aaron say, God's mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Most High say, God's mercy endures forever. I called to you in my distress, and you answered me and freed me. You are at my side, I do not fear. What can mortals do to me? You are at my side as my helper. I shall look down on my foes. It is better to take refuge in you than to trust in mortals. It is better to take refuge in you than to trust in rulers. The nations circled me. In your name I crushed them. They circled me, compassed me about. In your name I crushed them. They circled about me like bees and blazed like a fire among thorns. In your name I crushed them. I was thrust down thrust down and falling, but you were my helper. You are my strength and my song and my savior. There are shouts of joy and victory in the tents of the just. Your right hand has triumphed. Your right hand raised me. Your right hand has triumphed. I shall not die, I shall live, and recount your deeds. I was punished, you punished me, but I was not doomed to die. Open to me the gates of holiness, I will enter and give thanks. This is your own gate where the just may enter. I will thank you, for you have answered, and you are my Savior. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. And this is your work, a marvel in our eyes. This is the day that you made, we rejoice and are glad. O oh, beloved God, grant us salvation. O oh, beloved, grant us success. Blessed in your name are they who come. They are blessed from your house. And you, O oh God, are our light. We go forward in procession with branches even to your altar. You are my God, I thank you. My God, I praise you. Give thanks to God the Most High who is good, for God's mercy endures forever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Give thanks to God the Most High, who is good, for God's mercy endures forever. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 5, beginning at verse 25. Now there was a woman who had been suffering from hemorrhages for 12 years. She had endured much under many physicians, and had spent all she had and was no better, but rather grew worse. And she heard about Jesus and came up behind him in the crowd and touched his cloak. For she said, If I but touch his clothes, I will be made well. Immediately her hemorrhage stopped, and she felt in her body that she was healed of her disease. Immediately aware that power had gone forth from him, Jesus turned in the crowd and said, Who touched my clothes? And his disciples said to him, You see the crowd pressing in on you. How can you say, Who touched me? He looked all around to see who had done it, but the woman, knowing what had happened to her, came in fear and trembling, fell down before him and told him the whole truth. 
And he said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your disease. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions for the welfare of the church, for Christian unity, for Tom and Alan and Ray and Richard and Don, and for all of our church leaders and for all clergy and ministers. For Joe and John and Barack, for the leaders of this nation and the nations of the world, that they may bring justice and peace. For the poor and the oppressed, for the hungry, the sick, and the suffering. For the widowed and the or orphaned, for the unemployed and the destitute, especially Bill and Robert and Carrie. For those in prison, especially Christian, and those held captive. For the aged and the infirm, especially Marilyn and Marjorie, Max and Ron. For the mercy of God community, for Joe and Tom, Alan, Ronald Francis, James Bernard, Peter Christopher, Stephen Luke, William John, Don Columba, Max Bartholomew, Todd Dunstan, Raymond Patrick, Richard Robert, William Paul, and for all the mercy of God, associates, for the Sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia, that God who's begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment, for the intentions of all who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O God, you are the source of everything divine, and in you is peace and harmony, gentleness and love. Heal our divisions and bring us into the unity of your loving divine nature. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may your love be upon us always, O oh, beloved God, as we place all our hope in you. Amen. Alleluia.